I'm going to fit this stuff around the door. If it'll focus. It's called Aqua Seal. It's got a little barb or a little piece that you push into a slot here. And I've got the cutter for it. Cuts a little slot, but it also cuts like a little channel. I'm not going to be using that. And I'll make a sample, I'll show you why. See, to get that channel in, which is designed so that that can sit inside that. But what it leaves is a little thin piece you put that against your frame and that sits in there your door shuts against it but it leaves that thin piece and quite often this has to go between the original frame and the door handle and there's not always that much gap not enough to get this 20 mil in so i'm just using some little thin bead it's about 15 mil this so I'll just be putting the slot in. So not slotting like that. And then the door will shut up against it. Right, this piece is for the threshold. I just want to take that corner off. And then this is going to be sitting on top with the sealant in it, with the weather strip in it. And I just want to take that corner off again, so I'm going to use my board in the planer again. Uh, this one's a little more awkward. I want to just lose that corner there. So that bed needs to be parallel to that. So from that, I need to measure that distance there. It's about 35 mil. So I found a piece of off cut of oak, it's 35 mil ish. If I sit that in there, that's about parallel, so I'll screw that down parallel. Right, so now I've got that. Put it through the plane and just take that little corner off. So it'll end up like that. Let's sand these edges off. But then the door will shut up against it at the bottom. The weather mould over the top here will shed the water off.
right eight four inch screws in there the door does shut there's a little bit of clearance there it's a fraction tight at this end might have to take it off and just plane that little bit off right, I've locked the door made sure that's okay I've got this strip on here That. I can fit up to the bottom of the door there. I'll get some screws in it. Probably five in this because it's going to get some abuse. I right, put a little bit of sealant on it on the ends and underneath. weather strip to go on top of here, you know, a mouldy one that will throw the rain over this. I can finish off tidying up the sides now. And these pieces I've added on here. I should have maybe cut them back and spliced them in, but I couldn't be bothered to be honest. Once I've sanded them in and painted them, they'll be alright. I've right, just put some sealant on it. I need to do some filling and sanding tomorrow when all the glue's properly dry. But it'll seal it for tonight. And I'll put some more sealant on then. And inside I put some quadrant around and it'll fill these screw holes. The beading is pinned to the frame, same on the outside. So the panel can move if the screws will let it. Same there. Like I say, I need to do some filling and sanding. Right, it's all been sanded. I've taken off this old bead that was around there. You can see the gap in the door. I'll fill that up. But first, I'm going to put this on, drip mould, weather mould. Put it on two different ways, that way that way. I'm just going to go with a shallow one. And then I've got some of this, like I've said, to go down here. I could run it right down and then you get a nice seal all the way around. But any water running down there will just run into there. Really, you want that. And then you want the weather mold to the weather seal to go on top so that any water running down will run onto this and off and out but you end up with a little gap down there at the bottom of the door so I might have to just get some of that crappy foam stuff on Right, you could screw these on from the behind, it makes a neater finish, you don't have to do some filling. But it's quite awkward to get a good screw into them. I've seen them falling off from behind when they're screwed on from behind. I'll fill these screw holes and clean this up. Right, I'm putting this aqua seal on. You can see the gap up here. Same at the bottom. There's a big bow in the door or the frame. Not much I can do about that. That'll be going on top of that. 
and where it kicks in it'll be slightly in and it might to the corners because it's got a mould on it if it was square I might be tempted just to butt it up just put a couple of pins in either end Make sure the door shuts okay. This one, I've locked the door. Just put a few pins in this one. It works okay, so now I can stick the rest of the pins in. Right, I've given it a coat of primer. Just to seal it. But it shows up pin holes as well, bits that need filling. And also I'm going to put some sealant around here and sealant sticks to bet sticks better to painted surface. Put some filler in here, some hard two-part filler. They've asked me to replace all of this. So that's another day. Do this pointing again. That sealant's up there. Needs all the pinels to fill in. I'm just getting these a coat of primer as well. You see, these need filling. Bit of sealant up there. Wet it down. I'm going to fill it up with sand and cement. I've got a gun for doing this, for pointing, but more trouble than it's worth sometimes so I'm just going to use a trowel start at the bottom stack it on top of each other Well, that's it for now.